Blues under-21s finished the season with a 2-0 win over Watford, taking their unbeaten run to eight games. And with changes to the emergency loan system on the horizon, Gary Rowe will be looking to the youngsters to provide some options for his first team. The one thing we tried to do this season was have half an eye on next season as well. And again, that's sometimes about planning long term rather than just short term. Selfishly for me as a manager to, to win as many games as we can. Uh, we knew that the emergency loan system was, was, um, was going to be banned next season. We knew that it was going to be just window to window for players. So therefore, you haven't got the ability within the season to change problem positions. Therefore, long-term planning suggests that we need to improve and strengthen the 21 so that rather than be an extension of the under-18s, they're closer to the first team. And I believe with the recent form, I believe with the recent signings, I think with further progress, I think at the start of next season, we could almost have a player in each unit, i.e. defence, midfield and attack, that could come into the first team squad when required and, and push harder. And I think that's what we'll need. We'll need five or six of those to be ready to play in the first team if needs be because they're going to be our emergency loans almost next season. Um, and that's something we've tried to put a lot of energy into this season that maybe we've seen the fruit of it towards the end of the season, maybe didn't at the start. Um, but I think we'll certainly see a lot more fruit at the start of next season. Blues picked up a point at Huddersfield at the weekend, but once again were not able to hold on to their advantage. And it's those small margins that the manager feels has cost his side this season. If you look this season and see what's what we're short of in the playoffs, you know, I think we're probably four four wins short of the playoffs. Um, which doesn't seem like a lot. But if you look at a lot of the games recently, you know, we could have easily been some way towards that, you know, Preston tune a lot, you know, really should have won that game. I know we didn't, so I can't I'm not gonna complain about it, but should have won the game. I mean, I would argue whether we deserved it or not. You know, to go one nil up against Huddersfield away from home, we should close the game out and win it, you know, and there's two of your four. So um, disappointed really, and I think disappointed because, you know, if you put the Burnley game to that as well and the Burnley performance, I don't think we've actually played badly um, over this period. For spells we have, you know, first half against Leeds, thought we were very poor, but second half we were excellent. Reading game, very, very good. Um, so lots of the games within this last eight where we've actually played better than our points tally suggests. Um, so a little bit disappointed with it, but um, certainly felt against Huddersfield um, that we should have got more out of the game. Middlesbrough are Friday night's opponent, and with the T-siders heading for promotion, Rower is predicting an entertaining game. The integrity of the league, the state of the game, the fact that it's live, the fact that we've got a big crowd, um, we'll go as strong as we can. And I think that's always a hard thing. Um, we want to involve, we wanted to involve some youngsters. I think we will do on the last game, um, but it's also hard to do that. You know, when you want to win every game and, and you've worked so hard as as um, you have this season to be where we are. Um, and I think you know it'll be a set mo it'll be a game that I probably don't have to worry as much about. You know, it's pretty self motivating. Uh, we've been good in front of the sky cameras for the majority of the season. Uh, the fact there's a big crowd, I think, will help us. The fact that it's a game against Middlesbrough, we know what they're all about. We know how tough it will be. We know how motivated they are, um, and we're going to have to match that. You know, and I think that's that's a good thing for me because if you look at the last seven or eight games, there's always has there has to be a change in psychology. As much as I don't like it, there has to be a change in psychology when you're fighting so hard to try and achieve something, and when perhaps you don't feel as though you can achieve it anymore then something changes, you know, and you look at the Premier League, I think Eddie Howe spoke about it with Bournemouth, you know, they've been fighting to stay in the league and as soon as they get the points that they think is enough, suddenly that 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 motivation changes slightly. Uh, Stoke have been a little bit similar. So there's a lot of other teams in that same vein, um, you know, and again, that's something we want to change. Um, but we certainly, I think Friday night's game will, will take care of it all itself um, and hopefully we can put another strong performance in. In contrast to Borough, Blues' promotion bid has come to an end, but the manager feels that he has learnt a lot from the run-in and believes that Blues will be stronger for it next season. So I've learnt a lot in the last eight games. Listen, you know, I'm a, I'm a young manager. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sort of open-minded. I'm pretty self-reflective. And I'll always look at things that I think I could have done better, you know, and I, I look at the last eight games and there's lots of things that I would do and get differently if I could change them. All I can do is move forward and make sure that we are stronger next year. I believe we'll be stronger next year. You know, I believe we'll be a better team next year. I believe we'll solve a few of the issues that we have. 
next year. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm really, really positive about it.